Hello, welcome to UK Theme Parks and today we are at Lightwater Valley. We are at Lightwater Valley. So we've got a big adventure coming up. This is the first place uh, we're visiting. We're off to Blackpool. We're going to do many other attractions as well. So make sure you've liked and subscribed to us because Lightwater Valley is one of our favourite theme parks and the alpacas here. <laughs> the lonely alpacas. There might be some rides, but the alpacas here and that's really all that matters. No, the ultimate's all that matters. The ultimate's all that matters. We're yeah, going to get ourselves cool. in. It's about 10 to 10. It's not that busy. It's bank holiday Monday. I just, you know, can't wait to get on Eagle's Claw. Can't wait to get on the Ultimate and some of the other rides and attractions. So, yeah. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Let's do this. We're in. Yeah. We're in. Look at this, look. I love this place. I love it. So, we're up north. We're not going to Flamingo Land. After our adventure last year, we're not going to Flamingo Land, but we are back here at Lightwater Valley. And of course, Skyrider wasn't open last year. We're definitely going to get you on that because I love that. It's my favourite wave swinger. And of course, behind the trees, Eagle's Claw. Eagle's Claw, the best. Easily the best afterburner that we've ever been on. And yes, we've been on the travelling ones. People get saying to us, we know Vortex is bigger, we know Vortex has got more arms, that's why it's slower. I've been on similar ones at fairs, at other theme parks. This thing is in a league of its own. Well, that isn't, that's a cart and all stand. But behind it, that thing is in a league of its own. What you saw there was us actually on the Sky Rider because we had to go on the Sky Rider because uh, Eagle's Claw hasn't opened yet. The back end doesn't look like it opens till half past 10, completely doesn't look like it opens till half past 10. But Sky Rider, so pleased to have that back open. That's my favorite wave swing. I love the speed on that. Now, then, why we're here, obviously, this used to be Angry Birds Activity Park, however. The Angry Birds license has gone, and it's probably a good thing as well because, being honest, um, it probably cost quite a lot of money to have and didn't really bring anything to the park. Now, then, it does still sort of it does sort of look like Angry Birds, doesn't Another it? Another slingshot on the TNT. Yeah, however, we now just say Lightwater Valley rather than TNT. But this is where we're going to go now because we're a good. I don't know if this is open. We're going to go and have a look, actually. It might not be open yet, but we're a good. Um, 15 minutes away from the rest of the park opening and uh, it's kind of thrown us out a bit because we like to do Eagle's Claw at 10 o'clock and uh, the Trauma Towers and the Sky Rider and then head straight over to Raptor Attack whereas now we're in a bit of a dilemma of how we're going to do it. Are we open yet? We're not open yet. Is that an exit? Okay. I see a goat. Yeah, that, that, that it's really that. exciting people. Hold on in there. I see a goat. He's loving oh, life, look. Yeah. He's oh, loving so life. Cute. 
And of course the Bird of Prey Centre, which is really, really popular, is over there as well. And this area is under renovation, but yeah, there's our Mr. Goat. He's clearly stripped all the leaves off of those trees. He's had a busy oh, day. <laughs> he's had a busy day and he's not done yet, look. He's not done yet, he's not done yet. Uh, we've, got, we've got a rear here. Love a good rear. Oh. oh, hang on, that's that's oh. definitely not a rear. That's a goat. <laughs> um, it's a nice goat, though. Uh, it's a great looking goat. Oi, oi. Yeah. Three goats, four oh, goats. Goat. <laughs> okay, I think it's fair to say they're fairly happy to see us. All right. All right, guys, calm down. I know. Uh, we're going to have a look around here, see if we can see the... Uh, see if we can see it. I know, guys, it's all right. Oh, they're so loving it. <laughs> now then, obviously we are going to get on rides today. Honest, we promise. We promise we are here for rides today. A few things we'll catch you up on. So, um, Eagle Creek Farm. Now, Eagle Creek Farm... Cut's fallen over. There was a stump, a tree stump that they hadn't cut down long enough. Cut fell over. Um, the Eagle Creek Farm, which is uh, the little tractor ride which um, they got in a few years back, uh, replaced the hornet's nest, oddly enough, and quite an open space, used to have live animals in it, probably including goats. I can't remember. Had sheep, didn't it? Might have, might have had a cow, had some pigs. It doesn't have those anymore. <laughs> so, from what we understand, that has been completely stripped out and been replaced with plastic animals. Um, which I find staggering. We are going to check it out, but I find it staggering. All right, mate. Hello. 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 <laughs> no. Can't tell if he's going to lick or nibble my finger. But yes, it's been replaced with plastic animals and they don't actually have livestock here anymore. Now you may be thinking, hang on a moment, there's some goats behind you. Well, during half terms um, and uh, I think summer holidays, I think summer holidays, the local farm actually supplied the animals to the park, which includes the goats and includes the baby alpaca which we posted on our Facebook page about two months ago which got like record number of likes and that's what we're looking out for today the baby alpaca once we've done some rides we're gonna do some rides so we have got 10 minutes till the rides open but just to catch you up the livestock here is only here during half terms and only here during the summer holidays from what we understand it's not here permanently anymore Eagle Creek's farm is very much a, a static experience we are no longer Angry Birds land here we are LWV like what a valley play area but it's still a cracking play area and it's going to be really really popular all that's open at 10 o'clock from what we can see is the sky rider we can see going around and the carousel and then of course that'll be joined by the rest of the park at half past 10 in 10 minutes so what we're going to do we'll have a quick look around we're going to take some off-ride footage before we head into the park and where are we going i think we like to do raptor, raptor attack, attack first because, it because it's yeah i mean it's such a a, a slow trooper even for a part that's not very busy it can still take quite a long time so i think raptor attack is where we're headed first but so many good rides i love this place i just love coming here move on yeah so we've waited here about 10 minutes these were always were supposed to open at 10 trauma towers has open eagle creek's farms open Eagle's Claw has a bit of a problem at the moment. Looks like they're greasing it. The people are going through down here though, so we are now heading to Raptor Attack. That's where we're going first. Low capacity, we're going to Raptor Attack. Raptor Attack? Yeah. We're not going to cut across there. <laughs> are we going to cut across there? Yes. Yeah. We're not going to cut across there. We're not going to get there any quicker. Yeah, we are. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, look, it's a natural wooded area. It's a natural area, people. short walk it looks like the ultimate's closed because everyone that's run down there is now running to raptor attack which is a real shame because that's where we want to go raptor attack that was a bit of a shock for you last time wasn't it so this is a lovely indoor coast it used to be sewer rat i don't know if it was anything before sewer rat but i remember it as sewer rat when i first came to the park um and it's really well themed for what it is it's even better now it's raptor attack just while we're here hill skate park's gone which is a real shame Oh, shame skate park's gone. It's kind of the track's already there. I don't really know what the point is for removing it, but um, yeah, Raptor attack. Got a second ride of the day. 
Yeah, we've got Apollo here, and of course we've got the ultimate. Oh, the ultimate. Oh, yes. So, two rides to come here for, really. Ultimate, Eagles Claw. Both currently closed. But fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Missed the entrance bit because the GoPro crashed. But these are the tunnels. It's a lovely theme. Really, really well themed. And here we are. <laughs> as one of the cars uh, seemingly stopped, I think, on the lift hill. I think it was the lift hill it stopped. We've got some nice theming down here. We will look at this again. No waterfall today. But yeah, the car... Okay. There's the water. It's on my head. So, um, the car seemingly stopped on the lift hill. They didn't seem to be able to find it, but they did find it, and we got going. The people on the car got fast track, and sadly, we were... Just gonna stop screaming. We were trying to avoid the 20 minute queue for it, which it gets during the day, if not longer, and we ended up in a 20 minute queue for it. Yeah. But what do you think? Good. I think I've got water on the front. Yeah. Oh my god, it's slippery. I like that. I do like Raptor Attack. I think it's really well themed for such an old coaster. I think it's really well themed. I just really enjoyed it. Um, it's just a shame we've had to wait. Uh, yeah, it's a real shame we've had to wait for it, but I'll warm it. Yeah. Uh, is that ultimate time? Yeah. Yeah. Just get to the now. So shockingly it looks like the ultimate's actually on one train operation, which I cannot believe for Bank Holiday Monday. And also we've noticed the trains have changed colour. So we used to have a, a light blue one and a red one, and they're now both this blue colour. We wondered whether or not there were more trains. We know they used to have four or five, but uh, certainly not a recent time. The queue for that at the moment is massive. Massive. One train operation on a bank holiday Monday. Can't be, surely. Surely can't be. That one, it marks the other one's out. Oh, it's just... Don't have time. You know, we know during quiet times that um, sometimes, sometimes you can have low capacity. Uh, we said, you know, at Fort Park the other day, Fort Park this year are on a mission to actually have full capacity all year long. And we know these quiet parks have a, you know, don't have the budget that Merlin have to do it, but one train operation on Bank Holiday Monday. If that's the case, that's really, really poor. It's really disappointing. If we want to get on this four or five times today, like we normally do, yeah. Let's have a look. We're going to have there. a look at the train. Three or four last time. I'm assuming the train's coming. Because the old lift hill's going. Here it comes. Take a look at the new trains, look. Yeah. Yeah, been given a coat of paint. They look quite nice, don't they? We'll come back to this. We will come back to it. We want to get on it quite a few times, so we are going to come back to it. And I think while everyone's in the queue for that, I think rides like Twister, uh, River Rapids, maybe Ladybird, and maybe Powder Kegs down towards Black Pearl is where we're head first. And we'll do a marathon on the ultimate. Once everyone else has gone on it, it's where everyone's gone and they're not here, look, didn't that raptor attack you? And they'll have been in there a good half an hour because we were on the bottom for 20 minutes. So yeah, which, which one should we do, Twister? Don't mind, yeah. Twister? Yeah, Twister. Yeah. We're gonna head over to the Twister ride. So there seems to be a few 
problems with the twister story of the day so far a few problems here and there so we are going to head over to the river rapids first we'll get them done first yeah. and then we're going to come back to the twister let's go on the rapids oh that's cool the air air up my bum i got it too not feeling that it's gonna be really loud i think Go that way, look. Arrow's pointing up. Oh, oh he's good anyway. So this used to be a travelling model, and uh, I went on this down in Bournemouth a couple of times. Oh, that's... Before it came up here. Oh, oh and that's... it used to sit over on the Grizzly Bear side, the old roller coaster they had over the other side, and now it sits over here on the field, which was previously disused. Jumping jacks down there, we'll have a look at them when we get out, and obviously you'll be able to see the twister. But this thing, yeah, this is a proper travelling version. It leaks a lot. There's a lot of green, which is good. Oh, because the ride's Cody, green. hold on. It's quite violent too. Oh no. Hey. No! Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no, that was really cold. <laughs> That's a no down my backside, that is. <laughs> it's gone into my trap. It's gone into my... Oh, that's a no. That's a no. That's oh, a no. that's a no. Oh, it's horrible. It's a horrible feeling. The water I don't, don't stand up. But that's a horrible feeling. The little holes down here. I imagine to keep it afloat, but the water when we went down the drop just sort of bounced up. Yeah. Yeah, not. Oh! My bum is soaked. Yeah. <laughs> How much did you get? Not much. I'm really soaked. Really soaked butt from the, the River Rapids then. So yeah, little holes at the back of the seats on these travelling ones and blows air when you're in station and blows water when you're not. So yeah, it was good fun. I really enjoyed that. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. So uh, the Twister's got a massive queue now, it's back open. We're going to go and try it down in um, Skeleton Cove. We're going to go and look at Black Pearl. We're going to go and look at the Swinging Ship. We're going to go and look at Powder Kegs. And of course that, we might actually go on the Waltzer this time. We refused to go on it last time because it has no place at Lightwater Valley. But it's still here a year later. Uh, we've got the Ladybird to do. We probably won't do that. The Little Dipper. The Little Dipper. We probably won't do the Little Dipper in fairness. Um, and we kind of then want to do the ultimate and the twister before heading back over to the other side of the park and you know we should have time to start it all again so that's the plan i think we've just got to start with the black pearl haven't we no. you're not looking forward to it are you uh -oh. he chickened out last time but this time he's coming on i think that's where we're gonna go yeah you're up that yeah that's fine. brave aren't you no you are you're proper brave no he's proper brave and this is arguably their best themed area old skeleton cove one of the first real themes they did, um, apart from the Angry Birds stuff. And, uh, oh, Black Pearl's open, look. That's not. Oh, oh, let's head over to the Black Pearl. Oh, 
actually not ready this time.
that one goes up. And it's still down. Shall I? Yeah, but the camera.
about six minutes thirty. There it is, the ultimate. Ho oh, oh, I know it's a love hate uh, a roller coaster. It's kind of one of those Marmite ones. It is one of our favourite roller coasters. Well, it's one of my favourite roller coasters. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I think that's all we're gonna get. So we have been down to Skeleton Cove. We went down to Skeleton Cove. You rode Black Pearl for the first time. Talk to me about the Black Pearl. It hurts. It hurts. Yeah, that's the only description. Talk to me about the Black Pearl. Good. Actually, I quite like it. Uh, let us know in the comments below because this ride has done, has done, you know, the rounds around the UK. Where else have you been on Black Pearl? We'd love to know. Leave it in the comments. But we did Black Pearl. We then moved on to Powder Kegs, and that's a lovely little break dance. It's not, you know, the extreme, extreme hus versions that we were even used to with things like Rodeo or uh, the traveling ones, or even the one on. Um, uh, South Pier in uh, Blackpool. It's not it's kind of like those, but it is a lovely little ride. Um, you guys did the pirate ship. Yeah, like the pirate ship. They can actually get the pirate ship open here, which is great. Um, it's quite a simple, um, quite a simple ride. And then we've come over to the ultimate here. Now it did have. We have queued half hour for it. It is only on one train, which is really disappointing. I can't lie to you. It's really disappointing. We want to do loads and loads of rides on this. In saying that. We haven't got a lot left to do, and it's already sort of quarter to quarter to one. Yeah. Um, they have repainted the trains, so we did wonder what was going on. And both trains are now this blue colour here that you see here. That one actually is the old red one, and the one in the uh, station, which we may see come out shortly, is the old blue one. But yeah, I, we've actually done quite a lot of rides, haven't we? Yeah. We're going to go on Apollo. Kurt doesn't like Apollo. He hates the starflies. He hates the starflies. The deal was, if Cody came on Black Pearl, that Kurt went on there, but he's still not going to come on there. And Cody had to go on Black Pearl. But yeah, look, you see the trains look as they go. It's, um, they're lovely. Lovely shade of blue. Lovely shade of blue they are now. Yeah, but of course, yeah, I mean, they have quite a lot of damage on the inside. You've got quite a lot of new signs. You can probably see the yellow, uh, you see the yellow warning signs if you go up as well. That if the train stops, you need to kind of sit still and wait for assistance. So whether or not they had an incident, which is why they decided to do it all at once, I'm not sure, but they're definitely all new signs for 2019. And again, all new painted ones. I think what we're going to do, we're going to head down to Eagle's Claw and see if Eagle's Claw's open, work our way back up the park, because we definitely want to re-ride on this one later. We took you on board with the chest mount. I have no idea what it looks like. No idea what it looks like, but it could be quite interesting. We took you on last year with the GoPro free, and uh, yeah, it wasn't great. It wasn't great to be honest. However, we are on the Hero 7 black now, so you know, stabilization, we've said it a couple of times uh, on Bouncilla, it struggled a little bit. So it'll be really interesting to see how it's done on this, but we'll see it when you do. Is the alpaca here? Is it here, Cody? Is it here? The goats have disappeared. Ooh. Oh, look at them, look. They actually look relatively cute. <gasps> oh, look, there it is. I just the sheep's not. There it is. He's not gonna look this way. We could though. probably do this for the rest of the video. But we won't. This poor sheep looks knackered. Oh my god, look at it. We've all looked around the rest. No? Oh. Whoa! He's going for a nibble. What are we going here then? They're asleep, Matt. Bunny's asleep. Oh! Uh, Can you pick? Love it, absolutely love it. We're gonna go look at the alpaca for a bit longer, then we're gonna go on some rides. It's closed, Cody. Yep. Oh, then I'll devastating, say. absolutely devastating that Eagle's Claw hasn't opened since this morning. It's now got a little sign up saying it's closed for essential maintenance, which makes me think 
it's probably not opening today, which is devastating news. Absolutely devastating. Oh, so much love that ride, but we've done the ultimate. Yeah. We've seen the alpaca and we've done nearly every ride. We've got Twister to do, which had quite a long queue. I think we'll go left and we'll go down by the waltzer. Yeah. Uh, we'll get on the waltzer and maybe we'll do the um, water slides. Can do. He's not too sure about the water slides. What do you think about the water slides? Mm, maybe. Well, I've got a wet bum anyway. He's got a wet bum anyway. I've got a dry bum now. Okay. So we used to have the um, falcons here as well for you to um, oh, yeah, see the falcons. Oh, you had the birds here, but we're now on for games. But let's hope. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Eagle's claw opens before the end of the day. But we'll head back down this end of the park. We want to get on the ultimate again. It's only one o'clock. The park hadn't even been open half the day yet. So we're crossing everything. I'm going to cross everything. And yeah. Yeah, we're crossing. So the former site of the Enterprise, which used to be right here, is now Thunderdome, which is a uh, which is a waltzer. We refused to do it last year. I still do not like the fact this park has a waltzer here, and I think it's been extended for another year. I don't believe I don't believe the park own it, but we are going to do it this time because there's not much of a queue. We hear it's not particularly great, but we are going to take you on board. So you can kind of make your own mind up of what you think. But we're going to head on to the Thunderdome now. Um, there are no spinners. So what do we think? Um, let's have fun spinning it. Let's have fun spinning it. Should we just get out and do it ourselves? He's not really feeling that. But we've got this one to do. As I said, we are going to go and do the Twister roller coaster and then we're on re-rides, which is great because we want to do the ultimate a couple more times. 100% want to do the ultimate, so please that's open. And yeah, fingers crossed Eagle's Claw does, but not like we've done enough waltzers this year. Let's do another waltzer. Some beautiful surroundings here. We always say this when we come to theme parks. It's lovely to have some beautiful surroundings. A beautiful lake down there. Obviously, the light water wheel used to be just over the back there. But we did have a look on our pictures as well because we thought last year they'll put another ride there. And it was a little hippo bouncing ride, um, which they put in its place. And yet the following year, it's gone, completely gone again. So around the corner, we will have a look down there later. We will get on the train later actually and have a little look around. Um, yeah, completely gone, which is a you know. I don't even know if it, it kind of stayed around here. The camels, which used to be over there, is now Sandpit. We did say that last year. And of course, the Thunderdrome, which actually wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. It doesn't have... Um, it, it's not your standard waltz, though. I think it used to be a speedway. I'm sure it used to be a speedway. So it has constant dips and bumps. And, you know, we did get a constant spin. Albeit, not very fast, we did get a constant spin. And it was ridiculously smooth. And it was ridiculously smooth, because it's clearly not new by any means. But it's beautiful. Actually, a beautiful beautiful waltzer and with a spinner and us spinning the right way actually that probably would have been really good but 
it's not an option not an option at a theme park i very much doubt they're allowed to have a spinner on it they don't have a spinner on it if you go the wrong way we tried to balance you'll probably see in the video we tried to kind of shuffle left and right we just couldn't get it the way we wanted to balance oh my god we're actually on it it's gone though Everyone's back in the station this guy's gone Mate, oh yeah. I don't know, he's making things number one again. Huh? Thing is. Well, not even that. Oh, there's a boat down there for the rapids. Oh, the old one's here, that was really long. Yeah. Maintenance is back. He's a pilot around the corner. Maintenance is still there. He's in the unit. Is he? Oh, he oh. Ow. Oh, this thing is. Oh, Ow. Oh, this thing is oh, Whoa. Quite relaxing. Oh, ow! Say so, <laughs> so that was the Twister ride. That was actually once we got on it, it's really good. That thing is brutal, absolutely brutal. But what a mission that was! What an absolute mission. We queued 35 minutes for it. It broke down three times. Each time with the same problem, the guy actually told us what the problem was. So what happened was he called maintenance, maintenance come over, pushed the car onto the track. Rather than waiting to see whether or not it went back round and kind of like finished and then reloaded and went, he literally just disappeared, left, left without a trace. So of course, next time round, um, repeat the process. Train one comes through, load it, doesn't go anywhere. So yeah, just baffled. That happened a third time as well, it goes. goes and pushes it, disappears and then have to call him for a third time. I'm just staggered. You know, ride availability today has been popped up. We're having a good day, in fairness, aren't we? Yeah. We've done loads of rides and, um, you know, there's still Apollo left to do and hopefully, still fingers crossed for Eagle's Claw, to be fair, still fingers crossed. But we have done every other ride. But we want to get back on the Ultimate. Ultimate? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to get back on the Ultimate and we're going to queue for it now because it looks like it's going to be a busy one on one train. Oh, Ultimate front row, nearly front row. Yeah. Time on the... oh, oh, oh. Getting shoved into those second corners on after the second lift hill is special. What a special coaster. Fly over the edge. Special coaster. It's very special. It's Bloody special. love it. Now we can see Eagle's Claw running from the top of there, so we're skipping Apollo for now and we're heading that way. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's open. So we are at Eagle's Claw and we are patiently waiting. There are maintenance people on it. It's clearly going round. That to me is a good sign. So we're going to hang right here because this this is incredible, Rod. Look at that beast. Look at that beast. Look at that beast. Look at that beast. So just while we're over here, we're not actually going to go on this ride, but we will have a look and you'll see that everything is now plastic. Um, which is, yeah. I mean, I'm sure for the little ones, this is quite nice still. I'm sure it's really good for the little ones, but I really enjoyed going to see the animals on it, so it's a real shame it is now. So we're not going to ride that today. I think this might open. I think this might open about four o'clock. So we're kind of on our wait and see at the moment. So whether or not we're going to do the train first. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Keep your hands and feet. Yeah. Keep your hands and feet. So we've got to keep them inside at all times. So we're on the train. Um, we waited for Eagle's Claw a little bit thus far. Doesn't look like it's opening. But still, we have, we have fingers crossed. We have fingers crossed. We haven't done the train yet today, so we're going to have a little look around. Uh, it's it's Swan Boats, actually. Swan Boats in motion. I don't have the energy for those today. What we do? But me and Cody pedal. You want to pedal? I do. You're the late. 
Mm. If Eagle's close shot. Not. I'll get you both in shot. You're the laziest people in the world. No, we're not. Why not? Hmm. I'm not convinced. I should cut the water. Anyway. Four. Anyway, regardless. If Eagle's Claw opens when we get back round, we won't get off. We're not getting off at all, are we? We're going to go all the way around on the yeah. loop. I don't actually think there's been a time where I've gone round in a loop on this. I always get off at the ultimate. So we are actually going to sit on it and we're going to go all the way around. And we're just going to point out a couple of things along the way. We won't show you, obviously, the whole, the whole route. Um, and we'll get behind the trees here, because over here now is where the light water will used to be. Uh, it looks exactly the same as Peking Heights did at Chesington. Obviously more uh, themed to the brownie colour, which they have here a lot. And as we said, it, it was replaced by like a bouncing hippo ride. I have a picture. I definitely didn't imagine it. Like um, I thought I had one day. I thought maybe I made it up, but just over here now, there is quite a big space. Um, and I, you know, the hippo ride was due to open the year we came, which was uh, 2017. Um, the year after, the year that the light water wheel was removed. And we never saw it open. When we came back last year, 2018, that area, completely empty. Completely empty again. And the ride is completely gone. Uh, as you'll see here, ride completely gone. Nothing there at all. And I believe also there used to be a shoot ride, a water shoot ride over there. I never got on that. I think I saw it in pictures, but I never got on it. And of course, and as we know, we've pointed this out before, over this side of the trade, this is where you used to be able to walk down for uh, rides, which include the little dipper uh, with the crazy caterpillar, the little uh, wheel that's next to it as well, and all the kids' rides used to be down here, and the train used to stop at this abandoned station that's coming up. Which you might just be able to see in the distance there. And all this area now is completely closed off. Uh, there was rumours of lodges. I think they put in a position for lodges. I just don't think they had the money to do it. Um, I don't think this is a park where accommodation is needed yet. A couple of good investments, maybe cheap ones. But this is like, you know, this Fort William is literally like an abandoned area. The coaster used to sit over there and all the little rides used to just sit right here. But it's literally like an abandoned theme park inside a theme park. Very, very peculiar. Very, very peculiar. And then, of course, we come over the back area here to where the Thunderdome is, and we'll get a back shot as well of Black Pearl very shortly. So here's Skeleton Cove. This is one of the new play areas, not been open that long. Obviously, you've got Black Pearl, you can see the flying cutlass there. You'll see powder kegs very shortly, which is also going around. And the kids' rides, the kids' rides we'll look at shortly. We're over this side, and I know we pointed this out in our last vlog as well, but for those that didn't see it, this little pathway that leads down here, this used to lead to the pirate ship. Because this pirate ship, I think, was bought from London Castle, uh, London Castle, when it closed down. And the original pirate ship actually sat over there. Very weird location, to be honest. And I have no idea what happened to that pirate ship. I don't know whether it was scrapped, whether it was sold, or what happened. But this rock work here, the pirate ship sat on there and used to walk down here, go through, and that's where the pirate ship was. Very odd. Very odd. Yeah, the, the booth and everything is there. Again, quite loud. We talk abandoned theme parks inside of abandoned theme parks. That's a real prime example. Right here, when we first came to the park, used to be the Grizzly Bear Coaster. Uh, I believe it was a Pinberry model, very similar to um, kind of the, the uh, the ones you see down the seaside resorts. The Royal Wild River Rapids was then moved here before being moved over the back and replaced with this car ride. Uh, the Ladybird from White Way has already been there. The Big Dipper over the back, that was over in that abandoned area up the top with all these little rides just here. And that's the most entertaining side of this, uh, off the journey, to be honest. I think we're gonna stop at the station. Looks like there's people waiting to get on and uh, we'll come back on the second half. It's a little bit more of a scenic route on the way back. It feels a little bit more direct. We kind of come around the back end of the waltzer. Go right underneath the uh, slides. I've got a feeling the slides today. We got wet enough on the River Rapids, didn't we? Still and then pretty much back around the other side of the lake where we've just been. So yeah, we're going to get off the, um, the train back at the entrance where we were. We're going to have another walk around to Eagle's Claw. And again, fingers crossed, it's open. 
and we can get on it. But that's our mission. It's the only ride now, apart from Apollo, we've ever done. And where it rained, I mean, we did Ultimate in the rain. That was that was something special, that was. We don't really feel like flying up into the sky on Apollo. So Eagle's Claw is definitely the mission, and that's where we're heading next. Oh, it's open. It was open. We've just taken you on board it and we actually got back on again afterwards. That, that is a special afterburner, a really, really special afterburner. And I know, as I said earlier, lots of people tell me, oh, there's great afterburners around. You've been on a better one than that? No. How many you been on? I don't know, two. <laughs> Three. Well, that's good, isn't it? Four. Right. That's really good. And we know, of course, that Vortex is a bigger one at Fort Park, but it's not programmed like that uh, you know you've got fireball around you've got wipeout around as well none of them touch that there are traveling ones on the circuit there was the uh time i want to say time machine style one uh winter wonderland 
There's the freak outs as well. They don't touch it. That is in a world of its own, a complete league of its own. That is incredible. I love the Eagle's Claw. Cody, worth it? We had to wait four o'clock for it to open. Oh yeah. But we walked that, straight back on it. We walked straight back on it. And as you may have saw there, it did have a bit of a queue. I think as people have realized that it's open, uh, people will probably make that last ride as a lot of people are heading to the exit, which is what we're doing as well. So we're going to get around the corner. Uh, we'll head out. And we're pretty much done. We've done every ride apart from Apollo, and that's because it started raining when we were up there. Quite honestly, we can't be bothered to walk back down there uh, to go on it. But we've been on it before. Um, you know, Kurt's not a fan of the Sky Flyers. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of them at all. And Cody doesn't mind them, do you? You don't mind them. You don't mind them. But, you know, some nice views. Some nice views. Yeah, you do forget about the height when you're on them. But we've done every other ride. Every other ride. And uh, it's time to go. So here we got this year, this is this year's map. Yeah. It's a lot smaller. Doesn't have the fold out ability of the maps that they were used to in the past, but. It doesn't really. Scream at you like uh, the older ones did, but probably cheaper to produce in all the state. Like um, there's Lightwater Valley. We love coming to Lightwater Valley. It's one of my favorite theme parks in the UK. Yes, there has been some reliability issues today, some frustrating mm -hmm. ones at that. Um, ultimate on one train is a no as far as I'm concerned it's just a no on a bank holiday but that said we got on every ride we wanted to get on more than once on the big rides as well uh, we got to see the alpaca which was good and we've had a relaxing day a really chilled out relaxing day and um, yeah you know it's a little bit busy than I expect you see the car park actually is really full uh, and it's great it's great to see it busy because I really want to see the park do well and get rid of that waltzer and get a decent ride in there to be honest with you there's quite a lot gone from the park over the last couple of years however you know you can see improvements a whole entrance area improvements you can see various improvements around the park around signage and uh, food options and things like that and although it isn't all open today I'm guessing that they had a low uh, booking day which is why not everything's open um, it's been a cracking day it's been a cracking day and the rides have been brilliant um, and you know the staff have been great and yeah we just we've just enjoyed ourselves haven't we yeah relaxing we're now going out to have relaxing days that's what we're going out to do slow down a bit and have relaxing days i really hope you've enjoyed it with us and we'll see you next time